Hey, a new player and good neighbor. Hello, little pawn. Welcome to our fun and games. Okay. Hey, Hancock. Too bad about Finn. Gonna miss him next Super Mutant Attack rolls round. Oh well. What can I do for our newcomer? What's your story, Hancock? My favorite subject. I came into this town about a decade ago. Had a smooth set of skin back then. While I was busy making myself a pillar of this community, I would go on these, like, wild tears. I was young. Any chems I could find, the more exotic the better. Finally found this experimental radiation drug. Only one of its kind left, and only one hit. Oh man, the high was so worth it. Yeah, I'm living with the side effects, but hey, was not to love about immortality. You're immortal? Well, not exactly. Ghouls just age really, really slow. Something about the rads, maybe? Oh, who knows? Junkie? You could have gotten yourself killed. I like to think of death as the ultimate drug trip. When it happens, I'll be too busy enjoying it to have regrets. Now, if you're done laying judgment down on me, is there something else I can do for you? Tell me more about this town of yours, good neighbor. It's all about the people, understand? They're freaks, misfits, and troublemakers. And that's why I love them. Everyone here lives their own life, their own way. No judgments. Now, was there anything else? Did I hear you talking about the Institute? You like my little speech? I do it every once in a while in case they're listening in. I want those synth makers to know that good neighbor is off limits. No one gets replaced in my town. But hey, weren't we talking about your needs? What did you come here for? Why does the Institute replace people? Hell if I know. Mess with people's heads, control us from the shadows, or maybe they do it just because they can. No one knows where the Institute is, what kind of people they are, or why they've decided to engineer their own slaves. But there it is. Just to be clear, everyone's welcome and good neighbor. I don't care if you're a synth, ghoul, or even a super mutant, so long as you play nice. And let me tell you, synths still under the Institute's control don't play nice. Done talking about this. What else you need? Looking for work. Work, huh? Hmm. I'll tell you what, I got reconnaissance needs. There's a lot of weird talk coming in about a place called the Pikmin Gallery. It's raider territory up there, but they've been quiet. Like uncomfortable post-coitus quiet. Snoop it out and give me the word. What else can you tell me about Pikmin Gallery? Nothing. That's why I'm paying you to go out there. Scout out Pikmin Gallery. On it. Cool. Be thorough, okay? I'm not paying for a look-see. Find out what's really going on there. Do you have a moment? You've been to Diamond City? Good noodles. Bunch of assholes, though. Whatever you say. Three eye. Nice.
This is all just a Hell yeah. Well, it's over. That's that. job you might be interested in. You know about Jamaica Plain, right? The place where they hid all that treasure before the war. No one's ever found it, account of all the ghouls. Sal's putting together a raid team. We still need a sniper, even split of the loot. You up for it? If so, you know where to find me.
Got it. Light him up! You're not leaving here in one piece.
5R. Die, mutant scum! Sweet. Eighteen next. One R. Hmm. The trail ends right at the church. Take the good. Let's get this show on the road. You're not killing anyone. Out of my way. Sweet. Yes. Huzzah! Glad that's over. Huh, it spins.
Oh, so it starts with R. we go. Stop right there. You went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting. But before we go any further, answer my questions. Who the hell are you? Put down your weapons first. Until I determine you're not a threat, we'll point our weapons wherever we damn well please. Who told you how to contact us? I just heard a rumor about you guys in Diamond City. I see. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. And you are? Deacon, where have you been? You're having a party. What gives with my invitation? I need intel. Who is this? Wow! Newsflash, boss. This lady is kind of a big deal out there. Do we know each other? I didn't need to meet you to hear about you. You've made waves. Des, seriously, you haven't heard of her? She's the leader of the Minutemen. It seems like the whole Commonwealth's flying her flag. So you're vouching for her? Yes, trust me. She's someone we want on our side. That changes things. So, stranger, why did you want to meet with us anyway? You're the only ones fighting the Institute, and I want to take them down. I'd like to say that nobody comes here out for blood out for revenge, that everyone's here to help their fellow man. That would be a lie, though. I just want them stopped. Don't we all? If we're going to be dealing with you, I need to make sure we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? Yeah, I know all about them. Good. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. Aren't synths just machines? And machines are tools. They started that way. But if it's impossible to tell a single difference between a synth and a human, they must be treated the same. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? No. Probably not. No shame in that. Every person needs to know what they're willing to die for. It might be best if you kept your distance from us. Not for our sake, but for yours. The Institute wouldn't hesitate to torture and kill you for what you know. Deacon can show you out. Death says we stay here until you leave. No pressure. Excuse me. Saw some of you work along the trail. Not bad. For a human, that is. For a human? What do you mean? You were born in the Wild Human Model 1.0. You ain't bad for that model. Not in the same league as a synth, but... Hey, not your fault. Wait, you're a synth? In the artificial flesh. And before you start with all the questions, the only thing I'll say about it is this. All those rumors out there are bullshit. I'm as real a girl as you'll ever meet. The only difference is, I bet your assembly instructions were a hell of a lot more fun. Listen, you caught us at a shit time. We're still recovering from something I can't get into. We're a man down, though. And if anything Deacon said about you is true, I'd like you on our team. I'm interested. Awesome. I think you'll be a good fit. I know Dez said we don't got room, but talk to Deacon. I'm sure he's got an angle. He always does. Hey, Deacon. So you answered the big question and took a pass. Dez is a hardliner, a live and die for the cause kind of lady. But the truth isn't so cut and dry. Listen, are you interested in the railroad? Learning more? 
Maybe joining? I thought your boss turned me away. It's complicated. Would Des like every Tom, Dick, and Harriet to be here only to help synths? Yes, absolutely. But we live in the real world. And here, we can't turn down help. We need every able body we can get. So, you interested? Sure. I'm interested. All right. Good. Let's see how much common ground we got. I get you don't want to take a bullet for a synth, but you... Willing to brave some danger to stop the Institute and their nefarious schemes? <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Someone has to stop them. Excellent. Every one of us believes in synths getting a fair chance, but some agents aren't really risking their necks for that. They put their asses on the line to hurt the Institute, and the Railroad's all right with that. And Desdemona is really okay with that. Would Des like every Tom, Dick, and Harriet to be here only to help synths? Yes, absolutely, but we live in the real world. And there, we can't turn down help. We need every able body we can get. Sales pitch over. If you want to walk away, here's your chance. What do you want from me? I got a job. Too big for me? Just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Des invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. What's the job? So, up front, the only thing I'll say is that it's gonna be a wild and dangerous ride, but probably nothing new for someone like you. Sign me up, then. Perfecto! Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. Up over and I'll just take this. Bingo. You sure you saw something?
come to Mama. Still kicking? Jesus! Yours. Catch this Pikmin psycho? The slippery bastard got away before. But Slab won't leave a man breathing after he's hunted our crew. I heard Pikmin skin Roy alive after he snatched him. Let the rats get at him. Gives me the creeps just thinking about it. No joke. The faster we clip this asshole, the better. It always feels like something's watching me in here. Oh. Incoming! Ah! Sweet. I think we're done, for now. I'm dead already! And... I'll just take this. who went missing up near the old art gallery. They're, they're dead, Seth. I I'm looking at a, a goddamn painting of Cal's body. Oh, God. What the hell did I do to him? my collection. I'm afraid it's not complete yet. Soon, though. Stay away from me, you psycho! Yes. Just like that. Hold that expression on your face. Unite! How much you got left in you? Think 
you can win this, huh? Bring it on. Let's get this over with. Suits me fine. Suits me fine. Up yours. I got the door open. Let's go. This won't be. My pleasure. Nice. Hell yeah. What the? Hey! I think someone's out there. <laughs> okay, cut the shit. Who? You're getting paranoid. They're not even here.
You guys got me stirred up over nothing. Who's there? Excellent. Hmm? You sure you saw something? Hey. I'm glad that's over with. Sweet. Nice. Finally got you, Pikmin. Thought you could hunt and torture our people to your heart's content? I'm gonna enjoy killing you. It's over. <clears throat> that was close. Thank you. Those people deserved worse than death. Why did they want you so badly? <laughs> A small disagreement. They objected to my hobby of collecting their heads. Let me repay you. What did you have in mind? A gift. Nothing more. If you visit my house again, Look deep within my painting, Picnic for Stanley, and you will find my gratitude. You'll need this.
Nice. I'm glad that's over with. Hey, Hancock. How's my little scout doing? You find out what's happening at Pikmin Gallery? How do I even start? You know why they called it the Pikmin Gallery? No, that was the point of the whole job, remember? What are you trying to say? Oh, God, it was awful. Pikmin was a serial killer, and 
He was using dead bodies for his art. Oh, seriously? That's messed up. Even for this town. I'll put the word out to avoid that place. Good work. You ended up in the abyss, but you crawled back in one piece. Here's your money. Hey there. Spare me any sob stories. This is a hotel, not a charity, and we insist on full payment for the room. No discounts, no exceptions. All right. Here. Top floor. Long hallway. Last room on the right. 